Welcome to lecture 3 of module 6 on talent technology. Today we are going to discuss about the applications of talent uh, in, in, in diverse uh, fields, uh, particularly with respect to diverse uh, organisms. So, before we move into the various specific uh, examples of talent applications, so let us look into the promise and potential uh, these technology holds uh, overall. Uh, we know about uh, talent as a intel based engineered nucleus uh, which can cause double strand breaks and we can use the uh, cells internal uh, repair methods triggered by these uh, double strand breaks to insert uh, DNA fragments as well as create uh, point mutations. So, one of the potential or promise of talent obviously is uh, creating mutations and uh, genetic uh, insertions and talent have been employed to produce uh, non-homologous and joining mediated mutations as well as homology uh, directed repair based insertions in a range of species uh, generally with high efficiency while utilizing the double stranded uh, donor templates. Uh, somatic and gametic cell manipulation can also be carried out with talents. So, talent mediated gene DNA insertions into human somatic uh, pluripotent stem cells as well as uh, embryos and eggs are uh, possible. Uh, the other promise or potential is in the area of creating knock-ins, knockouts as well as uh, uh, gen gene therapy. So, like uh, gene finger nucleases, uh, TALEN has also been used widely in research to carry out genome editing in several species to produce disease models and knock out and knock in animals in disease biology and to generate TALEN based genome editing therapeutics. And even beyond uh, gene editing, we know uh, TALEN can carry out uh, uh, tail based constructs can carry out uh, many other functions. Uh, when fused with uh, functional domains uh, such as uh, for in base editing, then transposition, uh, recombination, transposition, transcriptional activation or uh, repression etcetera. So, let us see uh, the timeline uh, for the first application of talent in uh, laboratory animals. So, rat uh, is the first animal in which uh, talent was applied uh, in August uh, 2011 by Tessian et al. Then the next year uh, it was used by Carlson et al in 2012 in pigs uh, directly and mouse uh, by Sang et al in 2013. Then uh, also rabbit uh, by Song et al the same year. And in 2014, Liu et al used these technology uh, in, in, in monkeys. So, this is in brief the timeline for the first applications uh, of talent in some of the standard uh, laboratory animals. The first knockout of gene in rats uh, was done uh, by talent uh, by Tesson et al in 2011, as I already told you in the timeline uh, discussion. So, Tashan and his colleagues first successfully created a gene knockout rat uh, using these customized tail effectors. They designed and assembled talents to exon 2 of right uh, rat uh, uh, IGM and tested their ability to alter the IGM locus in rat S16 uh, cell lines. Talon uh, knockout rats lacked both mature B cells and secreted uh, immunoglobulin. Talon has been successfully used in production of both knockout and knock ins uh, in living cells and organisms by introducing tiny insertions and or uh, deletions in cells into the genome. Uh, non homologous and joining frequently causes 
Zin disruption which we call as uh, knockout. Alternatively, homologous recombination allows for the precise gene deletion or introduction in the targeted site which is opted for talent based uh, knock in production. Talent mediated knockout of uh, zebra fish PRKDC gene. Zebra fish uh, are model system for investigating human diseases such as cancer. Effective uh, immunocompromised strains of zebra fish in tumor genograft research is uh, widely used. In mammalian cells, PRKDC gene encodes the DNA dependent protein kinase catalytic subunit. The catalytic subunit participates in DNA non homologous end joining uh, without which it causes uh, severe combined immunodeficiency or skid. Uh, Jang et al. Uh, developed a PRKDC null or minus skid zebrafish model for tumor general transplantation experiments. The zebrafish PRKDC genes exon 3 was selected uh, to be targeted by two talents for this purpose and this causes a frame shift mutation that rendered the gene uh, completely inactive. After genome editing by talent, further analysis showed that the skid zebrafish did not have functional T and B cells which was consistent with the skid mouse models observed abnormalities. So, this is uh, in details the experiment for talent mediated knockout of zebrafish PRKDC gene uh, which has 86 exons and around 12623 base pairs and you can see here the different exons and this is exon 3 uh, to which this talent construct is targeted and as you can see uh, we have uh, talent F and talent R uh, which are designed to bind across the DNA strands so that the fork one domains come opposite to one another and dimerize and facilitate the cleaving of the DNA. And here in B, uh, these talent construct is uh, delivered by micro injection of kept MRA into yolk at one cell stage and then you have these F0 founders which are crossed with the wild types and the F1 founders are established as a result of these and genotyping is done to confirm uh, the successful crosses. So, step A you can see here is the generation of talent constructs. Exon 3 of the PR KDC gene was targeted with the 12 base pair spacer flanked by left and right talent arms. Mutagenesis by microinjection in step B uh, of capped mRNA and strategy for the genotyping of the F1 progenies as already told to you. And in C you can see the sequence confirmation of the mutations with two nucleotide deletions uh, here uh, and six nucleotide deletion followed by five nucleotide insertion. Uh, uh, both mutations cause a shift of the translational uh, frame. So, here you can see uh, the western board analysis for PRKDC. Uh, kidney and spleen were dissected from several geographies and the pool samples were processed for the western uh, blotting experiment and see you have the uh, PRKDC uh, positive and uh, in P you have these PRKDC negative these are not present over here. You can see here this is positive but no any uh, visible sign of PRKDC here in this western blot analysis and uh, beta lectin is uh, used as a control positive control which is so that we can know that the experiment is going on correctly. And uh, uh, these uh, experiments uh, successfully showed uh, the uh, effect of the talents and here uh, you have I, this is uh, 
E immunohistochemistry experiment for PIKDC which was done with the uh, kidney uh, dissections and uh, the, uh, the visual uh, evidence uh, supported the western blot analysis as well. Let us also now look into other capabilities of uh, talents and their applications particularly knock-in red generation where talent has been used. Uh, uh, Leon et al in 2014 uh, reported the successful gene targeting uh, knock-in in rat by talent mRNA injection in one cell embryos. Talent was designed to target the PA4760 mutation in the rat glucocorticoid receptor or GR gene uh, named as NR3C1. The mutation inhibits glucocorticoid receptor dimerization uh, namely uh, GRDIM. So, a mutation in this gene will inhibit the dimerization of glucocorticoid uh, receptor. Out of the design it in talon uh, constructs by in silico method, uh, they selected 3 talons, tal 3, 6 and 13 and assemble them uh, physically into heterodimeric FOC1 expressing uh, vectors. So, design talent design and evaluation of cutting efficiency in red glamour uh, C6 cells, this is the schematic uh, of these uh, uh, red NC3 R1 gene. So, you can zoom into this uh, area of mutation of uh, PA4760 in exon number 3. The first nucleotide of the 476 codon is highlighted in blue. The talent binding sites of the tel 3 are highlighted in, in green in both the left side and the right side. T and O1 assay results uh, it showed that pool DNA from C6 cells transfected with either right, left or right and left talent monomers which are marked as uh, R, L was amplified and treated with uh, uh, T7 endo 1 enzyme. And those with uh, left right are marked as LR. Okay. So, you can see here 2 cut bands. Uh, 288 and uh, 177 base pairs. You can see some of them visible over here and this is the band for 470, 465 uh, base pairs and uh, which is being cleaved into 2 uh, as, as shown in this uh, figure. The uh, M cells are mock uh, transfected cells and GFP is, are the GFP transfected cells which are used as positive transfection uh, control. Intensity of the cut bands are indicated for TAL3 and uh, TAL6 uh, pairs. So, here you this is around 20 percent and this is around uh, 16 percent. TAL3 uh, transfected cells uh, were screened. So, here PCR amplicons of the region around the PA76 T mutations were subcloned into topo vector. Clones were isolated and analyzed individually. Four point mutations and insertions are marked in red. So, you can see here uh, 1, uh, 2, 3, uh, uh, 4, and so on. Uh, cells transfected with TAL3. Uh, presented mostly deletions ranging from 1 to 16 uh, nucleotides. So, here you have uh, 1 base pair minus 1 base pair here. Okay. So, this is the deletion and you have say here minus 4 base pairs and here you have a larger ones minus 10, minus 13 and as big as uh, 16 uh, base pairs here. Uh, donor molecule design and linearization. 
To generate glucocorticoid receptor dimerization GRDM, knock in rats, a common donor plasmid was designed for talents 3 and 6 bearing the PA476 uh, mutation along with 4 silent point mutations in each talent binding site to prevent further nuclease activity in the targeted alleles. The donor plasmid sequenced had also 500 base pair homology arms on 3 prime and 5 prime sites of the PA476 T mutation to allow homology derived uh, recombination. The donor carried 2 extra point mutations for rapid detection by enzyme digestion and ALU site, ALU1 site was removed and a high 3 site was added uh, close to the P4760 uh, site. So, you can see here the wild type and this is the talent tree left and this is the talent tree right and this is these are the sites we were speaking about high tree and uh, this is talent 6 left and this is talent uh, 6 right. So, the upper DNA indicates the wild type sequence of the exon 3 of the red NR3C1 uh, GR. In blue, the residue A476 TAL3 and TAL6 binding sites are also indicated. Uh, DP is the uh, donor plasmid sequence. Donor plasmid was synthesized with 500 uh, base pair homology arms on both sides. The PA476 T point mutation is uh, highlighted in blue silent mutations of the DP are shown in red bold letters and are located in the overlap of TAL3 and TAL6 uh, binding sites. High 3 site is highlighted in, in yellow color. Talent mRNA injection in one cell stage uh, embryo. Talent mRNA and excised linearized double stranded donor DNA containing point mutations and diagnostic restriction sites were co-injected into fertilized one cell stage embryos. Surviving embryos were implanted on the same day in the oviduct of pseudo pregnant females and allowed to develop to full term. So, this is the red genotyping uh, DNA from knock-in units was extracted by tail biopsy. Genotyping and sequencing was performed using primers specific to the targeted region. So, this is the uh, wild type and donor uh, plasmid DP. Then you have the DNA 1, 2 and 5 uh, point mutations in the DP are indicated in a red bold letters. The PA476 T mutations is highlighted uh, in, in blue. There are several other applications of uh, talent. Uh, for uh, uh, animal uh, in, in, in animal uh, uh, editing. Uh, for example, there is a uh, production of alpha 1, 3 galactosyl transferase targeted peaks using transcription activator like effector nucleus mediated genome editing uh, technology. This paper uh, published by Khan group and uh, this is the uh, discussion we had in the uh, last uh, module uh, regarding the applications of uh, zinc finger nucleases in, in generating uh, HIV resistance uh, cell lines. And you are all aware, aware about of the importance of CD4 as well as CCR5 core receptor and the HIV virus can proliferate or enter a cell only when both of them are functional. If CD4 is functional, but there is a mutation in CCR5, uh, most famously known as the CCR5 uh, delta 32 mutation. Uh, the structure of the CCR5 receptor is changed. The exposed uh, transmembrane domains are absent in such kind of mutations and due to these the virus cannot enter the cells and thereby uh, these kind of uh, cell populations will become resistance to HIV 
and we know that individuals homozygous for CCR5 delta 32 uh, polymorphism. So, total protections against HIV type 1 infection and those who are heterozygous uh, will, will uh, so delayed progression of HIV. So, once again let us uh, have a brief recap of uh, the CCR5 uh, gene in HIV uh, pathogenesis. This is a chemokin receptor which plays an essential part during HIV infection and it acts as the co-receptor of the R5 trophic strains that is usually immediate initial HIV infection. And uh, in the absence of CCR5 on T helper cells, R5 HIV is unable to bind and thus cannot infect uh, T lymphocytes. Approximately 10 percent of uh, Caucasians are heterozygous and 1 percent homozygous for a deletion within uh, these particular gene named CCR5 delta 32. In 2007, uh, an American patient with HIV infection and acute myeloid uh, leukemia AML was given bone mar marrow transplantation from a CCR5 delta 32 donor for AML therapy, leukemia therapy. And this was a kind of a accidental finding. Due to this bone marrow transplantation from a CCR5 delta 32 donor, the patient which was HIV positive uh, got cured of his HIV infection. So, this is an accidental uh, finding and this has given us uh, a clue about genome editing to modify the CCR5 receptor and thereby use this methodology as a HIV therapeutics approach. Mock et al in 2015 designed a codon optimized talent targeting uh, the functionally relevant first intracellular loop of the CCR5 receptor. This is designated as CCR5 UCO talent. CCR5 UCO talent mRNA was uh, send into the T cells lines PM1 through electroporation. Uh, Both talent arms recognize the 19 base pair target sequences within the CCR5 gene corresponding to the very short first intracellular hydrophilic loop of CCR5, a reason expected to be sensitive for amino acid deletions or substitutions. CCR5 UCO talent mediates CCR5 gene knockout at very high rates in primary T lymphocytes. The gene edited T lymphocytes are efficiently protected from infection with CCR5 uh, tropic lentiviral vectors and also form fully replicating HIV1 uh, as reported by Mock et al in 2015. So, let us look into the construct of CCR5 UCO talent uh, design. So, here there is a left talent arm CCR5 UCO L and a right talent arm CCR5 uh, UCO R and uh, uh, here you can see the various transmembrane domains total 7 in number of the uh, CCR5 and you have uh, these uh, EL1, uh, EL2 and EL3 and you can see here in EL2 the delta 32 uh, mutation. Uh, which, which which occurs over uh, there and uh, this is a symmetric representation of the tail repeat variables dye residues used for recognition of the uh, CCR5 locus in A and B is the schematic representation of CCR5 conformation and the region targeted by CCR5 UCO talent uh, which is uh, shown as red here. TM is transmembrane region, EL is extracellular loop and IM is uh, intra, ICL is intracellular loop. Talon binding sites in the genomic on target uh, CCR5 and possible off target CCR loci is shown in uh, figure number C. So, following this they characterize CCR5 eucotalon in the ACIV susceptible T cell line PM1. 
So, uh, you can see the percent non homologous end joining uh, going up uh, post day electroporation day 0 nothing day 1 you have around 20 30 percent then slowly uh, day 2 you have around roughly 38 percent but then it jumped to over 80 percent in day 3 and day 4 and a little bit higher in uh, towards day 7. So, non homologous end joining induced mutations and the CCR5 locus over time uh, can be seen in this figure A. PM1 cells were electroporated with 5 microgram mRNA of each CCR5 mucotelin arm and genomic DNA was harvested at the indicated time points. The NSEJ frequency was determined by next generation sequencing. And uh, in B, you can see the correlation between loss of CCR5 expression and accumulation of NSEJ induced uh, mutations, which is dependent on the amounts of electroporated CCR5 mucotelin mRNA. CCR5 expression was determined by flow cytometry, NSEJ frequency was determined by NSEJ. So, as the positivity of CCR5 uh, goes down, uh, you can see the percentage of non homologous end joining is uh, uh, going up. Let us now discuss about tail based tools uh, and, and their applications in uh, diverse uh, fields. So, you can see here uh, uh, they are being used to make recombinases, transposes, then activation and repression, methylation as histone modifiers, base editors and well known function of uh, nucleases. So, we will discuss some of these. So, using functional domains from other proteins as fusion partners, various tail based tools uh, can be generated apart from using nuclease for genome editing. These tools can be used uh, in a targeted and sequence specific manner to modify the transcriptome modify the epigenome, uh, modify the genome and uh, visualize repetitive DNA sequences like centromeres or uh, telomeres, uh, mitotelin. Talon being totally a protein molecule, they can locate to and function in every cell compartment which is accessible for proteins. Therefore, talons have been used to perform gene editing in mitochondrial DNA of human, mouse and plant cells. A mitochondrial targeting signal MTS is fused to the end terminus of talon to allow localization inside uh, mitochondria. In mitochondria uh, pathways NACJ and HDR4 DSB repair are not functional. Therefore, uh, DSB lead to rapid degradation of mitochondrial DNA and loss of the mitochondria. Intramolecular recombination may aid in DSB repair. However, this results in partial deletions of the mitochondrial uh, chromosomes. Mitotelin can either be used to specifically deplete one type of mitochondria in a heteroplasmic cell and thereby increase the percentage of healthy mitochondria or they can cause recombination events that results in deletions in the mitochondrial uh, chromosomes. Talon offers advantages of delivery of mitotelin into mitochondria, which is not so efficient with uh, CRISPR based system as it requires a co delivery of the protein and the RNA components into the organelle. Presence of defective mitochondria, mutant mitochondria at 60 to 90 percent in a cell causes a wide range of different diseases in the organisms. And the treatment of cells with talon reduce the percentage of such defective mitochondria to 40 percent or less in many cases even below uh, 20 percent thus bringing them well below threshold for a pathological uh, phenotype. So, these are some of the tail based uh, editors uh, the antibacterial toxin D triple D A which stands for double stranded DNA deaminase toxin A acts as a cytidine deaminase and promotes CZ to TA 
conversions with a high bias for 5 prime TC context. In contrast to other known cited in deaminases, uh, double stranded DNA deaminase toxin can act on double stranded DNA molecules as uh, substrate. Uh, triple DA has been fused with tails, okay. So, DDA is here and it has been fused with tails to exploit the function of base editing. A tail base editor is composed of a tail repeat region the N and C terminal regions from a tail both truncated to 146 and 40 amino acids respectively. One half of the cytidine in the aminase domain of triple DA, triple DA N or C terminus and an uracil glycosylase uh, inhibitor. UGI. So, this is the construct basically part of UGI, part of triple DA and these uh, tail uh, construct. F using an uracil glycosylase inhibitor to each tail base editor further increased the overall efficiency uh, substantially. Now, uh, there are issues of toxicity uh, associated with this uh, entire approach. So, those has to be tackled. The fusion of the deaminase domain of triple DA and the DNA binding domain of tail was found to be toxic to cells as the deaminase targeted multiple chromosomal sites during the search progress uh, process or when released from the tail after degradation. The deaminase domain was split into two non-toxic halves triple DAN and triple DAC and fused them to form to oppositely binding tails. This restricted the protein activity to the targeted region where both halves can assemble into a functional unit which ultimately reduced the toxicity of the tail triple DA fusion protein. The recommended breaking points being either between amino acids portions 1333 and 1334 or uh, 1397 and 1398 named G1333, G1397 uh, uh, respectively. Uh, uh, Since the editing range of the tail base editor pair is governed considerably by this split point, it is recommended to either evaluate which one of the two might be best suited uh, for the planned experiment or to uh, use both. Use of mitochondrial targeting signal can deliver the tail base editor inside mitochondria as well and carry out base editing there. The optimal spacer length between the two tail binding site is uh, indicated in green. Uh, you can see here around 14 to 18 uh, base pairs. The approximate editing range for a tail base editor pair utilizing either the triple DA halves G1333 N or C N and C or G1397 N and C on the target sequence with 14 base pair spaces are uh, shown in orange. This is the editing range and this is G1333 and this is G1397. Uh, Tail base editors facilitate CG to uh, TA conversions and have a strong preference for 5 prime TC uh, context. So, with this we come to end of this uh, part. Uh, we will continue this lecture in, in the next uh, part. Thank you. Mm -hmm.